Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon and we have live Dritte Liga action coming right up. It's MSV Duisburg and they take on Kaiserslautern. Yeah, thanks Derek as always, pleasure to be here. I have to say the atmosphere is fantastic in here and I'm anticipating a really good game today. Hopefully we won't be disappointed. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. And the lineup for the home side. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Well, here's the starting 11 for Kaiserslautern. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And the contest begins. Maximilian Zawa. Buhadouz. Frey. Moritz Stoppelkamp. Marlon Frey. And taken away. Marlon Frey. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Marlon Frey. It might be on for them. Can he finish? And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and the relaxed way he strikes that into the back of the net is pure quality. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Wichtige Durchsage für Frau Silke Schmerfeger. Silke Schmerfeger, an ihrem Auto ist das Fenster offen. Bitte kommen Sie umgehend zum Parkplatz. Vielen Dank. Ritter. And a throw in forthcoming. Dominique Schmidt. Kamavuaka on the ball. And snuffing out the danger. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce?
A space for them here. A chance to whip it in. No nonsense clearance. Kamavuaka on the ball. Aziz Buhadouz. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. This is looking threatening. Schmidt. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And that puts them in position. What a splendid volley it was, but denied by the frame of the goal. Well, he took the chance, didn't he? He swung his leg at it in a volley and he's hit the woodwork. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Pourier. Good, sir. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And space to cross it. It's opening up for them. Real danger. This looks promising. Sima. Good looking cross. And not cleared away properly. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here's the replay, and it's in save at first. Not too sure he could have done much better, but in the end, he's got to be disappointed because it ends up in the onion bag. A bit unlucky for me. So, a level contest. 1-1. And there it is, the half-time whistle. You certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Anas Wahim. Pourier. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. A bit of running room now on the wing. Buhadouz. It might be on for them. And the cross into the middle. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Here it is now, a substitution. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Good, sir. Pourier. Strong play here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Could play it in. A decisive clearance it was. And he's made headway. Can he find the net? And still an opportunity. Well, nothing untoward happened. Good, sir. Pourier. High quality defending. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And it's come off the keeper. Kamavuaka on the ball. I don't think the goalkeeper will be complaining about poor finishing like that, Lee. No, it's not about the goalkeeper. It's about that poor effort. That really is awful. Good, sir. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. And a substitution in the offing. And the cross is very much on. Simmer. Wahim. Oh, a fine block. Excellent defending. Maximilian Zawa. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. Kamavuaka on the ball. Maximilian Zawa. Can he play it in? Frey. Kamavuaka on the ball. The referee blows for full time, it ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result.
And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.